There's a spawn in Big Red's Big Hat. Mm -hmm. Spawn in the road. Yeah, one down there. Two down there. Um, they've run, they've run into Big Red, but the the yeah, pistols we can pistols. get them. We can get them. The pistols. Defo, not pistol. Yeah, one dead. Two dead. Two dead. Nice. I think I'd have done one on top. I think I'd have one top both of them. Hey guys, what's up? Pekinek here, and welcome to episode one of Teaching Tarkov. Today, we will be focusing on camouflage and concealment, and how we can give you an edge on the battlefield. With the rise of Escape from Tarkov among popular YouTubers and streamers, it could be a difficult learning experience for new players after watching their favourite content creators be so successful with the fast-paced run gun meta. However, these content creators are trying to entertain an audience, so slow-paced gameplay isn't ideal for entertaining thousands of live viewers. In reality, Escape from Tarkov is a hardcore survival game which can punish you for the smallest of mistakes. This series is designed to help new players and even experienced players gain basic skills and tactics to accompany you in the world of Tarkov. In this episode, we're going to focus on camouflage and concealment and why it's so important to see the enemy before they see you. First of all, we must understand why things are seen and how we can make it as difficult as possible for enemies to detect you. When patrolling in the world of Tarkov, you are constantly scanning your surrounding area for enemies. There are a few things which naturally draw the human eye, and these are what we're going to try and eliminate today. First of all, the shape and silhouette. Your enemy in Tarkov is always a person, so you are constantly looking for the shape of a human. You need to try and disrupt this as much as possible. For example, if you're on the side of a hill sniping, don't stand in the open. Try and find a bush, tree or even long grass to disrupt the shape of your body. A silhouette is the outline shape of your body. This really stands out against contrasting backgrounds. If you're travelling from point A to point B and there's a hill in between, walk around the hill so you're not silhouetting against the skyline. You also need to bear this in mind when against buildings which contrast against the colour of your clothing. Next we're going to talk about texture and colour. This is a simple one. When selecting gear, whether it be from the hideout before a raid or picking up from a dead scav, think about how it's going to affect how visible you are to other players. Use the gear tab to examine your character. I do this as part of my kit check before each deployment and you can also do this in raid. For example, running around with a purple Teletubby on your back, also known as a Pilgrim, may be awesome due to the extra slots, but it's a very bright colour and enemies will see you easily from a distance. Whereas they may not if you was wearing a low profile backpack such as a Burkut. Now onto movement. The human eye detects the slightest of movements very easily, especially sudden movements. Keeping a slow and steady pace, such as a full warp pace, is usually the best option for traversing most of your environment. This also means that your stamina bar will be ready for any evasions to cover if you start taking fire. Remember that every map plays differently, so smaller maps such as Customs, Factory, Reserve, I always prefer to be moving so that I'm a harder target to hit. If you're waiting for a teammate, do continuous, unpredictable strafes as this will make you much harder to headshot. On large maps like Woods and Shoreline, I personally prefer to use cover um, and move a little bit more slowly so enemies don't see me. The biggest mistake I see in Tarkov, which secures me a lot of easy kills, is the fact that I do not sprint unless absolutely necessary. If two people are walking directly towards each other, one person walking, one person sprinting, the person walking will hear the sprint from much further distance and I'll give them time to post up and collect an easy dog tag. Top tip, another issue that I see people making is they will aim in as someone's walking past. Remember the aiming in, swiveling makes a lot of noise, so hit fire is usually your best option in this scenario. If you combine what I've taught you and put it into practice then you're on the right track to becoming a better PvPer and increasing that survival rate. When traversing from point A to B, just keep these steps in the back of your mind and use them to plot your route. Your routes won't always be perfect but they will be better which means you will be better. Thank you guys for watching, leave a like below if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button 
I'm going to be live from 6pm most nights playing Tarkov. Come over there, join me, give me a follow, and let's get better at Tarkov together. See you next time.